Hello everyone, um, I thought I would give you guys just like a quick high level tutorial on how to get your models out of SketchUp and into the Shaper Origin. So here I've got this little toolbox that I've drawn um, in SketchUp. It's all drawn in 3D and um, it's made out of half inch plywood. So if we take our tape measure tool and just check the thickness here and see that it's half inch. Um, this toolbox is designed to, to be cut out of um, just about any half inch plywood and typically half inch plywood or really any plywood is a little thinner than its advertised thickness. Uh, so if you have 0.48 thick uh, plywood or something, this will still totally work the way that these finger joints um, are set up. This will press fit together with just about any half inch plywood. So I'm not going to give you guys a tutorial on how to draw in SketchUp because there are tons of free tutorials out there on YouTube and the SketchUp Help Center. We'll answer any questions that you have, but essentially uh, I've drawn this toolbox using the regular old SketchUp tools and I've separated it up into a bunch of groups and components. And in SketchUp, the idea of a group or a component is this notion that you just take a part and you sort of uh, treat it as a separate part. So like this side panel is a component, uh, this side panel is a component, and the handle is a component, and so on. And if you really want to get fancy with components, you can even link them together. So whatever you do to one component happens to the other component. Um, but that's just something to look for when you're learning SketchUp. Uh, but overall, the idea of making something a component allows you to easily take the parts of the model uh, that you want to cut out and lay them out flat. Because again, as I said, Shaper won't accept a 3D model. You have to make it uh, 2D because it is a 2D uh, cutting out tool. So what I do is I take my models and I'll lay them out on a rectangle like this. And this rectangle just represents a two foot uh, by four foot sheet of half inch plywood that I might pick up at Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, or something like that. And the method to lay stuff out is actually very easy in SketchUp. You just go get your component, hit copy or control or command C. And then I go over here and hit command or control C, uh, V rather for pace. And then you can just use SketchUp's move tool. Then you can take the part and turn it around like this pretty easily. And we'll lay it flat and you get it on your material like this. And I like doing it this way because if you want to cut this all out in one shot, you can um, pretty easily laid out on the size material you have. Um, another method for cutting out this toolbox and anything else you want is sometimes I will export these individual parts as individual SVGs and if I'm trying to make one of these out of scrap uh, I can just um, you know only have the one SVG and and cut it out of the scrap. So um, your choice in how you want to export it but I'm going to show you how to uh, export all or some or, um, or just one of these things at a time. Uh, now there, uh, there's a couple different ways you can export out of SketchUp, and um, I'm going to show you how to prepare your file for export, and then show you the couple different ways that you can export out of SketchUp. So, uh, right now this file is almost ready. I've spent a little bit of time. In fact, I'm just going to delete this side piece for right now. Um, and what I've done is I've laid out one of each unique part uh, from this toolbox. So we need two of the sides. Uh, two of the short sides, two of the long sides, one bottom and one handle. Uh, so that's one of each part. You could lay out all the parts and that's a really simple matter of just copying uh, the parts like this, um, but I'm just gonna keep it simple and just do these four parts. So I'm just gonna show you how to do the bottom part here and I'll let you guys um, do the rest, but basically what I like to do is click into my component and if you double click on a face, like this, um, and I have this one mirrored uh, left and right, but it doesn't matter how you draw it. If you double click on a face, it will select the face itself and all the lines that make up that face. And if we go into um, Entity Info here, uh, there's this layer uh, drop down. And if I hit this layer drop down, I'll zoom in here so you can see it. Uh, right now, I only have layer zero. That's kind of the default layer um, in the model. And I'm gonna make a layer and I'm gonna call this uh, outside. I want this to be an outside cutout. And so when I do that, um, it nothing really much happens, but the, um, the geometry I've selected here goes to the outside layer, okay? Um, and you can also pull up the layers um, box here by just going to window, uh, window and layers, if that's not already open. And you can see all the layers here. And actually a little trick, you can click this button and you can say color by layer and it will show you what, uh, you know, what you have on each individual layer. So as you can see here, all of these parts are on layer zero, uh, except for this uh, bottom panel here. And I'm just gonna change this uh, to a different color here so we can see it a little better. We'll make it a nice bright blue. 
and there we go. So you can see we've got that bottom part on that layer. So you could go through and do that to the handle, the side panels and, and such, but I wanna get right to the end here where we do the export. Um, now, uh, one th other thing that we need to do before export is whenever you export something out of SketchUp, it kinda takes like a snapshot of what you're looking at on the screen. So if we export it right now, it would actually export this as at, at like an angle that we see on the screen. And we basically, what we wanna do right before export is just turn SketchUp into like a 2D modeler instead of a perspective 3D modeler, um, like it is by default. And it's actually really easy to do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to camera, parallel projection. That's gonna turn SketchUp from perspective to parallel. And so it kind of looks more like a technical drawing. And then we're gonna go back to camera and we're gonna to go to standard views and we're gonna to go to top. And that's gonna give you a top down view uh, of this model like this. So now what we can do uh, is we can go to export. Now I have SketchUp Pro, which allows AutoCAD import and export. So I'm gonna use that first. I'm gonna to go to file, export, 3D model. And I'll just go to my desktop here and I'm gonna save this as Eric Toolbox One. I'm gonna save it as an AutoCAD DXF file and before I do that, I'm gonna to go to options and I'm gonna make sure that it's at AutoCAD 2010 and that the only checkbox I have checked off uh, is edges. I'm gonna click OK and export this file. And it'll say export OK. Now I'm gonna open up Illustrator. I'm gonna open my file and we'll go to the desktop and we'll find that toolbox file. And when we open it up, um, we wanna pay attention to a couple options here. We wanna make sure the artwork scale is at original size. Uh, so that doesn't change the uh, the scale of your uh, toolbox because we want to cut this out of half inch plywood. Um, make all the other settings look like this. We'll do center artwork. Uh, make sure model is selected. That's usually the only choice. Click OK. And sometimes we get this warning for a font problem. Um, I don't know why because there's no font in here, but I just click OK and it goes past. And now you can see we've got the uh, the model up here now what you get you get us some extra cruft here we get a little bit of our 3d model um, but what i like to do first is just go to object artboards and fit artwork to bounds and that kind of puts the whole job you know so you can see it a little better and then the first thing i do is i'll just go in here and you know delete the 3d model and now what i'm left with is the 2d parts now if you open up the layers control panel you can see that we've got layer zero and the outside layer. So since everything else is on the outside layer, um, I'm gonna turn off layer zero and all we're left with is this bottom, uh, bottom panel here. And you can see that's on the outside layer. So if I toggle that layer on and off, that's all that's left. And the last thing I need to do is just select the whole thing and hit command or control J for join. And that's gonna join this as one continuous vector and then you're good to go. You can save this SVG file out. So you can just go to file, uh, save as, and you just say SVG, and you can save that SVG and load it right into your shaper. 